There is very little difference between configuring IGRP routing and configuring RIP routing. Both use the same three commands, IP routing to turn on IP routing features, router IGRP to enter router configuration mode, and network to add networks that will participate in routing exchanges. In this example, I know that IP routing is already enabled on the router, so I'll use the router command to switch to router configuration mode. I need to select the routing protocol I want to configure, in this case, IGRP. IGRP routing requires one additional parameter, the autonomous system number. The AS number identifies a logical division in the routing network. After specifying the AS number, the router is in router configuration mode. Now all I need to do is use the network command to specify networks that will participate in sharing routing information. Again, I use the default network address without subnetting information. I can add multiple entries. In this example, I'll add the same networks I did when I configured RIP routing. This means that both routing protocols are enabled for each network. The router can select the protocol with the best route or use one protocol if the other becomes unavailable. When finished, I can view the entries with the show running config command. When configuring dynamic IP routing, remember the three basic commands IP routing, router IGRP, and network.